Encinas has displayed her work on the Social Documentary Network, an online gallery for documentary photographers. The class that inspired her was taught by the site's founder and director, Glenn Ruga. People love stories. That, that's the core. I mean, people really like to learn about the world through various types of storytelling, and documentary photography is one way of doing that. And if it's done well, people will spend the time to engage with it. An accomplished photographer himself, Ruga spent years chronicling the devastation of war in the Balkans and came home to find there were few places for documentary photography on the rapidly evolving World Wide Web. He celebrated the Social Documentary Network's 10th anniversary this year. We're very proud. One statistic we like to cite is that in those 10 years, we've had work by more than 2,000 photographers from all parts of the world that have presented 3,000 stories on very diverse themes. In 2015, Ruga also founded Zeke, a magazine of global documentary, to move the work from the digital world to the physical world of paper. One of the things we really try to do in the magazine is to show the photographs as large as we can, and it's, it's quite different than looking at that same photograph you know, this big on your phone or, or seeing it 17 inches across. Cross. A self-employed graphic designer by day, Ruga's commitment to the site and the magazine is about creating an outlet for photographic work and also teaching and inspiring others who may be interested in the genre. The first thing is that they should pursue a project that really interests them. There's nothing that's going to lead towards a more successful project than something the photographer has passion and then learn as much as they can about the subject. It's not just taking the pictures, but it's understanding what this means. And by researching history and culture, it gives everybody a deeper understanding of what this is all about.